What's going on guys? Logo Vlogs here and welcome to Super Reese Galaxy Part 25. So last time, oh, we didn't really do a whole lot. All we talked about was just like the giant battle and basically um the like what was it called? Just like the like we went through like the little the motions of it, like the the dialogue. But anyway, let's get right back into it. Back to Reese talking. All of us beat Tabitha in a group of flies. Tabitha was very crazy, and I have to admit, this planet was had the craziest ending. I didn't know that the lady that we saw with Olivia was actually Tabitha. Miss Small, is everyone okay? Reese, yeah, we're okay. Leon, Leah, why'd you tell everyone about there being only two floors to your house? Leah, the real reason is because someone sensor created aliens that have cameras in their heads. They call them flies. These flies have the ability to track information that people know and use it against them. Rumors over the years have said that a man known as Professor Largo created these. But that is but that is not the case. A man who's in charge of Professor Largo is behind a giant scheme. Legends have told me that a group of four heroes, two of which form a sniper game gang, would come rescue the sniper rock. When my daughter was skipping school, and it may appear that I'm very disappointed in her. However, she did nothing wrong. I had an agreement with Tabitha to have my daughter go to a private school. However, my daughter was in charge of weakening Tabitha. Now that Tabitha is gone, and all government controlled flies are gone, all of us need to have a talk. We will go upstairs for the talk. Leah's talk in the pop floor. Leah, as we have mentioned, my entire episode of me getting upset at Olivia was completely staged. That was to confuse Tabitha. Now that no one can hear us, I have some extremely sensitive information I need to share with you guys. Listen carefully. I'm aware that you guys are in a college program where you are going to all the planets. It has also been said that you would have to get the five pieces of the sniper stone to graduate. You may have also heard that if you gather all the pieces together, that something bad happens. If you don't gather all the pieces, something bad happens. The truth is, there is a six pieces sniper stone. Don't listen to anyone who tells you there are only five. Also, whatever you do, do not let anyone, I mean anyone, put the six pieces of sniper stone in. You will need to figure out a way to avoid the six piece at all costs. However, you will need to figure out how to destroy the sniper stone piece in its five piece state. Elion, how do you know all this? Leah, I've heard things, many things. A girl named Angel has found sensitive information. If she's on your ship, get any and all information from her before they kick her out. I know that whoever is running the ship is catching on. All I can say is, things are going to get ugly. And there are important things you cannot screw up. You will need to talk to Angel and figure out the plan. Your life depends on this, and this is no laughing manner. Back to Reese talking. After Leah's speech, we were now able to understand why Leah did things the way she did. We all know that whoever Professor Largo's boss is, is the person... That person is running a giant scheme and we have to stop it. We were told to gather the five sniper stone pieces and we'll discuss a plan after planet seven. We're now done with planet seven and we now have to talk to Angel. It's a lot to take in, but we have to do whatever is necessary to rescue Carolyn. The ship came to pick us up and we're now back on the ship. Meanwhile, the ship, Matt, sing. What time is it? Tia time, time for her to shine. What time is it? Tia time. She about to have a good time. Max. Okay, Matt. I see you. You got bars. Uh, yo, Matt. Why are you singing? Matt. Singing distra distracts Professor Largo's boss and makes him fall asleep. Rumor has it that song Tia time is his weakness. Reese, where did you find that out? Matt. Leah whispered it to me. Reese. Angel. We got the last piece of the sniper stone. What do we do now? Angel. Okay, guys. Listen carefully. Now that we have five pieces of the sniper rock, it is in a breakable state. However, it can only be broken by a group of people known as the Sniper Gang. The Sniper Gang is a group of four people, and only these four people can break the Sniper Stone. You guys will have to find the two unknown members of the Sniper Gang, and with the two known members, you will have four. You will, you four will have to work together to break the Sniper Stone. Gabby, what happens after that? Angel, I do not know. However, I have heard rumors that something will happen that could trigger a six piece of the sniper stone. You do not want to trigger that, no matter what anyone tells you. 
Meanwhile, in another part of the ship, Pinel, Largo, we need to talk. Largo, okay? Pinel, we have a serious problem. Largo, what? Pinel, your class has gathered most of the Cyberstone. Largo, I know. Pinel, well, it's glowing and it's in a breakable state. Largo, why is that an issue? Pinel, well, you are on your final star. Final straw. Largo, why? Pinel, someone was singing and made me fall asleep. An angel is telling the Proctor secrets. Largo, why is that important? Pinel, can you act like you care? Largo, no. Pinel, Largo, what, whatever, Pinel. Whatever, Largo. Whether you care or not, you really need to kick out Angel. She is going to mislead the group. Largo, how so? Pinel, look, Largo. Everyone else except for Reese is microchip. The microchips have a system. On the next planet, anytime someone jumps or does a, an A press move, they will have a beep from the microchip and only I can hear it. This way I can track the group I can track the group's movement. And all it takes is for one person to jump and the six pieces of sniper rock will find its way to the sniper rock. When that final piece finds its way to the sniper rock, then the sniper stone will be complete. When the sniper stone is complete, then I will have full control over all the students and we will not have to worry about them refusing to do our scheme. Largo, what happened to trying to get all the students to pass the final exam? Pinnell, whenever I have full control over all the students, their level won't matter. I will just receive more and more funding and I will take the next group of students and do that same thing. Largo, what about Carolyn? Pinnell, what about her? She is literally in a non-existent planet trap. She can't stop me from my infinite power. Largo, what is your problem, Pinnell? Pinnell, what's my problem? What's your problem? You're so upset that Major Cena don't want you. I have her. Largo, no, you don't. You never did. You were never able to get girls. Heck, you haven't even gotten your first kiss yet. Pinnell, I have. I had all my fun. Listen, some other dude kidnapped Stephanie because she held a key, held on to keys for infinite Bitcoin. Someone kidnapped all the managers at Martha's Burger Joint for access to the Rice Star. What about me? I kidnapped Carolyn because her and Reese together could stop me. But I handled that, Largo. We have nothing to worry about, Largo. Why do you even want to move forward with what you're doing? Pinnell, like I said, I want to make money because I don't want to work. I mean, I don't want to live off the government. Largo, you are literally trying to control people. Pinnell, well, that is the point. Largo, you lied about your purpose. Pinnell, what, do you, what did you even think my purpose was? Largo, I thought it was to sell cars and then scam with invisible cars. Pinnell, well, the goal is to make money off people. Largo, why don't you just get a regular job? Pinnell, I can't just do that. All right, guys, so that is the end of Super Reese Galaxy Part 25A. Next time, we'll continue on with Largo and Pinnell's tangent for 25B. Anyways, Largo Vlogs, and I'll see you guys next time.